Hey what's up everybody, today I have a requested video for a full screen tempered glass screen protector. We'll be taking a look at the highly anticipated Zag, the invisible shield glass curved screen protector. Is it everything we've come to know and expect? Stick around because we're gonna find out. Enan here from Udroid Mania and you're watching my quick review. So let's get started. Inside the packaging, there's a few things included. You'll want to start by registering your glass before you install it, just to be safe. You'll also get a dust remover, a wet wipe, a dry cloth, and the screen protector itself. Now when it comes to the install, and just as with any other tempered glass screen protector install you've seen me do, we'll start by cleaning our phone. Even though some of you may not need this, I like to show the installation steps so that you can get a good feel for what it would take to install this protector. So with that said, let's go ahead and thoroughly clean this phone. And depending on how much dirt or debris is there, this could take a few seconds to a few minutes. This time I let the phone air dry, I removed this plastic film being careful not to touch the adhesive, and then use the tabs provided to position the screen protector. Once that's done, I like to give the screen protector a firm press on both sides to make sure that the adhesive takes. And you can do this a couple of times to be sure. When you're satisfied, go ahead and remove the protective plastic from the top of the protector. And then lastly, I take a microfiber cloth to 1 make sure that it's fully adhered to the display, but then 2 that the phone is clean. So let's take a look. Right away I can say that this protector has a pretty precise fit and that everything looks to be in order. But keep in mind, we haven't put a case on this phone yet and I'm sure you're going to want to see that. Along the top, your camera and your sensors are covered but they're not going to be impacted. There's a full cutout for the speaker and the Samsung branding shines through. Along the bottom, you've got the lights for your capacitive buttons. As you can see here, this case is designed to sit flush around the phone and to cover the full edge of the display, so if you're not sure what that means, I'll show you shortly. When it comes to that rainbow effect, Zag's no different than any of the other manufacturers, and they're also using that dot matrix technology as well. I explained why that's there before in a previous video, so if you have questions about it, leave it in the comments below. In my personal experience with touch sensitivity, I didn't find it to be as extreme as some of the other YouTubers have made it seem, but I'd say there's minor issues nonetheless. For example, on long press when you're selecting text, these issues are hard to decipher. Is it the actual protector or the Samsung panel? I had no issues accessing the notification panel, no matter how many times I tried. When using the keyboard, I didn't really notice any issues until I put the phone in landscape mode. There were many times when I felt as though tapping the spacebar or the return button was not being recognized. Because they sit on the edge, I think there's an issue. I know you're going to ask about the Spigen Neo Hybrid, yeah, but the answer is no. Next I pulled out my UAG case because lately I've been getting a lot of questions about that and as you can see here, it's a no-go. Both of these cases push up the screen protector and cause that creaking noise. There are a few cases that work and I'll leave those in the description down below but right now my best recommendation is the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro and the reviews coming for that next. Okay, so there you have it. The Zag full screen protector for the Galaxy S7 checks almost all of the boxes, but it's not without issues. Would I recommend this one? Absolutely not. Like I said, even though I consider the shortcomings to be minor, right now there's just better protectors on the market. GPEL still has the best one available in my opinion that you can get your hands on. Either way, both links are down below in case you're interested. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.